What's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing something different. Well first actually let me apologize. Last two days I haven't been able to upload a video for you guys. I've been super super busy with some personal stuff going on. I've got it somewhat taken care of. I got some time to myself so we're gonna make a video for you guys today. Hopefully get back on track. Uh, yeah, today we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be doing a tutorial on how to install a stealth plate. If you guys aren't familiar with that, if you guys never seen or heard of a stealth plate, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Uh, when we get there, I'll show it to you. But yeah, that's all we're gonna be doing today is showing you guys how to install that and how to use it. So yeah, when we get to the shop, I'll pick you guys back up and we'll get to work. My boy done pulled up. 392 Charger 2020. Be doing a stealth plate install on his car. Got one on mine already. He's seen it. He wanted it done. I told him I could get it done for him. This thing's so clean. One of the cleanest ones around for sure. Pick you guys back up in a little this bit. This is what the plate comes with. It's like a receiver box. Has your little remote to control the plate. This go, you put it wherever you want in the car. It tells you if the plate's up or down. I'll explain more about that later. Plugs into your cigarette lighter. Plug that into back of the box. Screws for your plate and then the plate frame with the slider. I'm gonna figure out where I should leave these wires and I'll pick you guys back up and show you. Give me a second. All right, so you guys see I got the plate on. I drilled a hole right there and then behind the plate, in the plate frame, comes with the hole where you feed the wire through. Plug it in right there. And it's kind of hard, but you gotta run the wire through the bumper. I drilled a hole right here, so fed the wire through there. It took me like an hour. That's literally the hardest part. But what we have to do now is find where the customer wants this in the car, plug it up, find where he wants to put this, and then plug it in and should be good to go. Once we get it all complete, I will pick you guys back up. All right, so now we're inside the car. What I did, I'll show you guys in a second. So, the wire's running through behind this plastic part. I put this back on so the wire comes through right there, runs through, and then you see I have the wire running just along all the way under, under the trunk piece. And over here, I have it running down there through the seat. You see it, and it just runs all, I put it underneath the seat, underneath the plastic piece. You see where it comes out the plastic piece. And I'm gonna run it all through the plastic until this could reach underneath the seat. I put this underneath the seat, and then I'll pick you guys back up, show you guys how I run this. And then I'll show you guys how I run this and then show you guys how it works. All right, so I got the wire all fed through. The receiver box is underneath the seat. Uh, I ran this underneath the seat. He's gonna plug it in, in there. And then I'm gonna find out where he wants to put this. This tells you if it's lit up, tells you if the plate's on. If it's not lit up, tells you it's up. Uh, find out where he wants this after that i'll get back at you guys and show you the tutorial on how to use it and how it works all right i got everything wired up i got that right there i'm gonna show you guys how it works hey goodbye for me goes down just with the press of the button when it's down the light turns red you want to hit it again when he presses it again, as you see, no light. So when the plate's down, light turns red, plate's up, no light, so you know. Yeah, stealth, 
plate install on the scat pack charger. He's gonna go have fun now. That was today's video. Stealth plate install tutorial. Hopefully it helped you guys. If you guys are in the market to get one in the Cleveland, Ohio area, you can DM me on Instagram. One slow cat, two T's at the end. Talk about pricing. I got one on my car. Use it every day. Pictures, racetrack, car meets, anything. It works. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It really wasn't an entertaining video. I made it to show you guys how to install this stuff plate if you guys are looking into getting one or if you guys are interested in getting one. I really like it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I rate it 9 out of 10. I haven't had any problems with mine so far. I've had mine for about a month or two. Uh, I use it a lot. I take a lot of pictures, go to a lot of car meets, go to the drag strip a lot. I always use it at those events. Um, it's really handy for when you're taking pictures and you want to cover your plate, just stuff like that. It's cheap. Amazon, eBay, 70 bucks. You can get them pretty cheap. If you guys are in the Cleveland area, Cleveland, Ohio area, and you guys are interested in getting one installed, you could DM me on Instagram at one slow cat with two T's at the end. Or if you guys have any questions, comment down below or DM me those questions. Hopefully I included enough detail to show you guys how to install everything. Every car is different because all the trim panels and everything are different. So it would really depend on what car you're doing it. But that was on a Charger. Challengers are basically the same thing. Just a little different because they're two-seater uh, coupes. Uh, but yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Please stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I will be having one up. Thank you guys for watching.